Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh, Hey everybody, welcome to Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. I am Eddie Ift, and as always, we're at the Rape Cottage here in Venice, California. <laughs> Tonight we've got a great guest. We've got Graham Elwood, who uh, I've been fortunate enough to see Graham perform many times at the Improv in L.A. Very funny guy. I've never met Graham. Me and him had that awkward moment where it, I went, are you a stand-up? And he went, are you? <laughs> 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 and I went, I went, yeah. And he went, yeah, so am I. And we, we both looked at each other and went... Cool, yeah. Is Graham like, how, how the fuck did I get here? Why am I here? <laughs> I don't know, because sometimes we have guests on the show where it's just like, like Chasm or someone who isn't really a stand-up as such, but is just like a guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Brian, yeah, but Chasm, Chasm's the new breed. He's the YouTube Brian, sensation. Brian McCarthy. No one knows what Brian No explanation. Does. Brian's just a guy. Bri he? Brian now has fans for being Brian. Yeah. Brian, Brian doesn't even have like, uh, he has money. And you don't know where it's from. <laughs> you know I, I mean? love those guys. And yeah. I was like, hey, so how do you pay for this place? Ah, you know, just, you know, bopping around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where do you work? I'm between things right now. <laughs> he, what does that mean? And he dresses like he's got money. Like if, like a child was dressing like they had money. Like in like, like, uh, Anna, like what's that, what's that Argyle jumpers yeah. with a bow tie Izod. and a Izod. all right let's alligator. get what's what's Izod? the little alligator logo thing no yeah. that's lacoste or whatever all right we've got as always machete uh our engineer thank you very much machete machete fucked up though the last couple episodes if you heard the static it's all his fault he took i the thought blame. i thought the static was because we had a dwarf in the room <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone could like like his magical powers were, like you know when you put a phone up to the radio like like he's he's, he's a little his, his pot of gold was giving a static uh we've got jason hour of power who just coughed and jason hour 39 feeling fine and jesse shapiro is helping produce the show now in the room. Thank you, Jesse. Lolita's is here, and our guest Graham. Uh, there's a few things we got to talk about before we get the show started. Uh, you have to sign up for the email list at Jim and Eddie Talk .com. You can like win stuff now, right? Go to the website. People are going actually. What can you? What can you win? I don't know. You can win shit. We've got all. Oh, chance to go go karting with. Oh, us. on our go karting oh, yeah. trip, where James going to try to win it's, again. It's like make a wish for retards. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be great though to bring all our Hmong fans go karting and watch them just plow into each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A just, heaping mess of just fucking driving the wrong way. Jason will just jump off his go kart and jump on them and hump them all. Yeah, just, people like Jason just jumping in front of the car for insurance <laughs> fraud reasons. <laughs> Um, all, as always, find us on Stitcher. Sign up on Stitcher. Stitcher.com slash Jim and Eddie. Please do that. There's uh, Stitcher's a mobile app. Uh, the promotion code is Jim and Eddie. Jim and Eddie. So go to Stitcher.com. Uh, they've been very good to us. Uh, be good to them. You can always find us on iTunes. Uh, and a little note that I hate to do this, but we don't get paid to do the show as some of you think. Everybody thinks, Jim, you're extremely wealthy. I'm as, not extremely wealthy. As you're wearing a... An, uh, what are you wearing right now? I'm wearing a pretty green scarf from this Liam Gallagher's clothing brand. Is, it, is it a Lacoste? So is it no, a no, no, but I'm getting a small bit of green felt and stitch it on so it looks like an alligator. <laughs> uh, what did you call a cost again? Izod. Yeah, it Izod. was Izod or an alligator yeah, it's a shirt. different brand. I don't know. We used to call them alligator shirts. Yeah, they're the same. They, there was Izod. I've been living off the grid for a really uh, long no, time. Being, oh, so. yeah. Izod was cool before like, Polo. And, and, then and Jace is wearing a jumper tonight just to prove how poor we are that I picked up in a, uh, a, 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 like a secondhand store, like a charity shop for like a pound in Britain and it's uh, it's not even an official Billy Joel jumper it's one of those ones you'd buy outside the concert that someone was trying to make a bit of cash <laughs> out of by having him and everything's in this place and it's maybe five sizes too small oh <laughs> god the fat roll is hanging out the bottom that and hurts that's, and that's that your, hurts that's your birthday gift thank you you're welcome I think the uh, cat or dog hair on it really gives it a nice accent <laughs> <laughs> I, it's got a nice I, little homeless feel to it little I found it on the bottom of my closet Jim I don't know how it got there because it was Jim's and that's where the dog I've, honestly that, it's the night that I came down through the rafters that he made me put it on do you remember oh, that oh you had it on that night the, the dynamic landing night is the first night this thing I have kept it I have kept night. it for years because I knew that one day it would just come in handy like i'm a hoarder but like not with clothes i'm not a hoarder and that 
that's traveled the world that jumper <laughs> and it's like it's like not even that old you can tell that billy joel's bald on it like you know so it's, like, it's not billy joel from the 80s someone made that in like 2005 i feel like jason doing this but i need to mention that uh we don't get paid doing this show at all we make no money and it costs us money to do so what we've done is uh we're going to donations because the show costs us a lot to keep operating there's a lot of people working on it we're can, going to can video you, can now. you imagine the the facebook messages oh they're gonna be so moment. mad you cunts with fuck you fuck, fuck you. you you make a lot of money and you fucking <laughs> asking me for fucking money <laughs> You don't have to give. We're asking for donations, but they're not just donations. You get shit. If you go to our website, you can get T-shirts, posters. We're giving away. You get to spend What's on a, the poster? They get to spend a day with Jason. Uh, signed poster from all of us with Jason. On, yeah. Look, Jason just looked like, no, I don't want to spend a day with them. <laughs> yeah, no, you have Jason, to spend a day. Jason, for a $1 donation. Well, I'll take him on a tour. <laughs> for a $1 <laughs> donation. <laughs> Jason will molest you with this dirty cat Billy Joel sweater. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a delightful effort. Right. That's $1 he'll pay them. Yeah, Jason, Jason will take you on a tour of Venice to all the hot spots. No, but there are... Uh, this is where I found a dollar. Go to our... Yeah, just just, just donate something. <laughs> 25 50 100 what do we have this uh, is a place where a homeless person thought i was a homeless person yeah. what's, what's the donation we said they can come hang out at the show no, no amount of money thousand, thousand bucks thousand bucks you can be in you, the show you get to come to the rape cottage and be on the show 500 jason sings you a song that he writes that he wrote he about he, he about you he's <laughs> the, which, you said you know those books you used to have when you're a kid that your parents sat in and they, they took your name, your brother's name, your favorite food, and then, like, Lisa Simpson had one. <laughs> Lisa Simpson became a cowgirl, and she's like, what are you like? Chicken nuggets. There's some chicken nuggets. And like that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So Jason will write a song. Jason will write a song. We life. don't know how soon he'll get it done because he's been working on your, um, the hemorrhoid song. How long have you been My working hemorrhoid. on that? Well, that's an, that's an instrumental. To <laughs> every... <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the hemorrhoid song is an instrumental, actually. Really? It really is, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's got to be touching. That's, you're the first song parody guy that I know that does instrumentals. <laughs> it's not a parody. It's an, it's an when, original. When he explained it to me. He said, I've been working on something. I said, what is it? He goes, it's epic. It is. Well, uh, well can, I, can I say they're better now? This is for the first time in months. I don't have hemorrhoids anymore. I'm, really? I'm, yeah, I'm doing fine, yeah. You know what's weird? What? I think I got one. <laughs> 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 they jump ship. Uh, I, I wipe we shouldn't my, sleep ass to ass anymore. I know. <laughs> They're contagious. I wiped my ass yesterday and I felt like I pulled a tampon out of oh, my ass. Oh, yeah. That's well, the, wait, yeah. if you get blood, that's about it. Yeah, I, I probably got one that's just not bleeding anymore. <laughs> but I don't have anyone that's bleeding anymore. I, 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 I have a dry, normal, like... I do a poo now and I just wipe it like a regular person. I give myself a little pat on the back and I walk out. I feel like I told my mum. I rang my mum up to say that my hemorrhoids were good because I blame her. Because does she have them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, of course yeah, they're, she has. They're hereditary. Them. Of course she has them. Fuck Doesn't them. help that you eat fucking. <laughs> I've been you eating eat well hemorrhoids. Last week. I mean, he eats, he, you should see his diet. It's hilarious. It's not as bad as you say. Portuguese chicken sandwiches and... Uh, it's chicken breasts, man. I buy them fresh and bash them down. You bash them down and then you deep fry them. No, I don't deep fry them. I pan fry them. Pan fry them in oil. Olive oil, though. Olive oil. It's good for you. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, look at you. You're just <laughs> yeah, the pillar of fucking health right there. <laughs> and, then I, and then I put a bit of lettuce on it and you know, mayonnaise. It's a mayonnaise. And <laughs> yeah. It's fucking good, man. Delicious. But it is delicious. Jason's had a big week, haven't Some you, Jason? Cheap. Yep. What What is today? Well, today's the day after he's my no actual longer, birth. Yeah. He's no longer 38 he's rape, no rape, rape, rape. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people text that after, and he said 38 rape, rape, rape. <laughs> That's become like a little catchphrase. Yours. And someone's, someone's got a new nickname for you. Um, someone wrote to me, because I, I put a little message out, like everyone wish Jason our happy birthday. And someone said, happy birthday to the talent. In inverted commas. <laughs> yeah. It's a new Ooh. nickname, the talent. There's some girl that is in love so with Jason and writes... All these messages about how mean I am to him, how great and talented he is. Is she four foot tall and have a teeth <laughs> smashed in? I, I She's looked, got hemorrhoids on her mouth. I looked, <laughs> <laughs> I looked on her page and she was like, Eddie, you're an asshole. Fuck you, blah, blah, blah. So I looked on her page. It's my mom. And I just, wrote, well, if it is, I just sent her a message that said, you're fat. <laughs> I said that once to a fan of mine. I said, shut up, you fat bitch or something. Someone was saying something nasty. I was in a bad mood. 
I, don't, I never had the my fan page go more mental than people being really angry with me. But really? They, they couldn't deny it. She was a she was a big girl. Wait a minute, the, your fans? Because your fans, you can tell the difference between your fans and my fans on our. Page. What? Because mine exist. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, speaking of which, we found out Jim used to think this whole show he was carrying it. He used to be like, "My fans listen. My fans listen." The biggest jump we got where we doubled numbers was when I did Rogan's podcast. Do you, do you want to take this fight, Eddie? Because oh. I can take this fight to the internet right now. Oh. We can put a poll up. <laughs> of course, because all the active people on the fan, they came from your fan page, and they're all well, well, fucking why, and, maniacal. And why wouldn't they come from your fan page? Because my fans have better things to do with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> than, than to listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> on a weekly basis, yes. <laughs> Yes, they do. My fans don't. My fans have jobs. They're well rounded. Well, I, like... might, I mightn't be on. This is Tuesday and Thursday. I might not be on next Tuesday's episode. No, you have to be. I'm, I've got a corporate out of town. No, it's too, maybe we'll you go. You don't to, understand we'll go to the Vegas pressure of a you. big paid comedian, Eddie. You don't understand. <laughs> oh. You don't understand the pressure that I'm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch this. Man. Wait, Jim. How many corporates have you done in your life? I, this will be. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, the type of act I, 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 I've done a few. Answer my question. Maybe 10. <laughs> but I only, because of the nature of what I I'm a, how you try to spin it like I'm a dirty, I'm Jim J I'm, I'm a dirty comic. So, so am I, and I've done more corporates than that. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> no need to be attacked on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did a corporate once for Manchester United. That was weird, right? The biggest sporting team in the world, Manchester United. And I was on stage and I thought, this is pretty exciting. You know, the money was really big. And I was doing it in all the plays there. And I felt like shit. And I was driving home in my car thinking, why didn't those cunts laugh at me? And then I was like, oh, they all can't speak English. They're all fucking <laughs> Spanish and fucking yeah, yeah. Mexicans. And I'm there going, why didn't that French cunt laugh at me? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the, I just did a corporate for Budweiser in when? Australia. And, oh, uh, and uh, they were bringing over Budweiser as a beer in Australia. It's not there. It's kind of like Foster's here. Because we have our own beer that's yeah, good. Good. <laughs> and, uh, and Budweiser, they said to me when I went to do the corporate, I said, uh, what can I say? Because, you know, corporate. what are you going to say at this corporate on? I only do, no, because it's for a technology company. I only do things that are like video game people, sporting teams, anywhere where they like smut. I don't, I'm not going to do like fucking Jamison and something law firm. You know, I just do grubby boy shit. Well, when I did Budweiser, <laughs> I said, you, have you done corporate scram at all? Yeah. Yeah, I did Budweiser and I go, uh, so what am I allowed to say? And this is in Australia. And the guy just looks at me and goes, just don't say cunt. And I go, I didn't even know that was in the realm of possibility. Yeah, I didn't know that was Because in, in America, you can't even say shit at all. Oh, corporate. Yeah, corporate gigs are the worst because there's always some sweaty you know, girl in a bad business suit coming up to you going, don't say this, don't say that, that's the boss, and don't make jokes about this, and they fucking get all up in your shit, and you're like, oh, this will be a great show. Uh, yeah, just, oh, yeah, they get really tense. Oh. I, I got asked to do one once, and the guy came up to me, he said, look, uh, I've, I've watched your stand-up, I'm actually the one who booked you, and I think you're great, and he goes, uh, <laughs> but, he goes, but, uh, yeah, a bit, bit, bit misogynistic at times, and, um, <laughs> And there's some, there's some girls, and they're nice girls, so leave them alone. I'm like, fine, don't be misogynistic, I got it. And he goes, try to keep the swearing down. You can swear a bit, but don't swear too much. And I go, swearing down, fine. He goes, you'll be great. And he walked away, and just as he was about to leave the door, he turned to me and goes, do you still do that retard joke? <laughs> I, went, I went, yeah, he goes, do that one, I love that joke. <laughs> the Budweiser and I was like, what, you don't have any of them working for you? Yeah. No, we don't. The Budweiser gig, the guy goes to me, uh, don't say cunt, and I said, I got some midget jokes, can I do midget? Oh, fuck yeah, fucking hell, mate, do fucking midget jokes. And then I go, well, um, he goes, you got, you got any poofter jokes? Poofters are fags in Australia, and I go, uh, uh, he goes, because we got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's fucking string this guy up. Yeah, huh? Let's fucking, goes, fucking pay him out, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking, <laughs> but I just did one. Fucking fudge packing piece of shit. Fucking. I, did, I did one in Vegas. Where are you doing yours? Uh, well, it hasn't. I'm not, I'm, I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, I did the Palms uh, Employee of the Year, whatever, awards. And they had <laughs> me host it. And the woman said to me, we watched your clips. Everything's fine except for the stripper jokes. And I go, 
What, what's so bad about the stripper? She's joke? getting employee of the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happened. She goes, there's a bunch in the audience. And I go, what, you employ strippers? She goes, well, they've got other jobs. Yeah, they're, they're fucking cocktail waitresses. And I'm like, they? well, I think they kind of know that they're the brunt of a lot of jokes. And she goes, yeah, well, I don't want you doing that joke. And I go, that's, that's the cleanest I get. And uh, so I killed, but uh, not happy. Not happy, the human resources people. I, yeah, there's always one dumb corporate fuckstick that's always like, they get all bent out of shape, and it's just like, and they always say stupid crap like, well, I love comedy. What does but, that mean? That's like saying, I like food. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I like laughing. I like laughing. Who doesn't like laughing? Well, you know, comedy, someone's got to get a pie in the face. So guess what? Your retard cunt strippers are all going to get one. So, <laughs> Well, it's, it's always, a, it's like if there's one black guy in the room, you stress out about the black joke. But if there's a whole lot of black guys, you're fine. I'll do one of those as well. Wait, what was I going to ask Graham? I had a funny story. Uh, you, you do all the military shit too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I've been to Af Afghanistan and Iraq. and I've done that as well. How much, this is the weird thing. The British government pays a lot of money and you guys get paid squat, don't you? Because yeah. you get that a little Mer American, hey, got to do it for our boys, but are you un-American? You get that thing done yeah, to yeah. you. Fucking suck. And he's Australian and he's going and doing it for the British. I'll do it for the British, yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. And they pay a shitload. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did a coalition base in Afghanistan where there were some British uh, special forces guys there that was pretty cool. But one time, I, you know, we did, uh, we were getting ready to do a base and... Uh, the uh the the base commander was a was like a super christian <laughs> and he was telling us he, he was it, it was me and, and uh scott kennedy and he was like look you know you guys you can't come scott, out here and, scott kennedy's gay right what <laughs> um fuck that's why he was blowing me um no that's yeah not very christian <laughs> <laughs> what who would jesus blow um and uh the, the uh, 12 guys yeah. you, hang out with, <laughs> you take your fucking pick i've always pictured jesus with cum dribbling down your chin going this is my last supper till next time <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, this and this guy's like you, he was he was like really emphatic. You can't swear. You can't do. You know. You can't say GD. He kept saying that. You can't say GD. Yeah, GD is the big thing in the south. What's GD? God damn. And that's and, worse than oh, saying oh, cunt. I, I, I and, thought, yeah, we I finally that's, you, that's, that's blasphemy. That's how you back people yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. That part of the country. We God talked to the damn. guy. And we finally said, look, man. We said, we said, look, sir. We'll do whatever you want. But the the majority of your base is eighteen to twenty three year old guys that aren't allowed to have sex. They can't drink and they're carrying a gun. Mm. I said, do you really? I go. I'll, I'll tell you the difference between the British and American right here. The British people get sent topless women with the comics. No way. Yeah, yeah. They get page three models come along with us. and They show their tits and then God. we come out and tell some jokes. Well, you guys get, well, God love them. Don't you be saying GD. <laughs> yeah. We finally talked the guy off the left. We, like, we, we walked literally around the perimeter of the base like twice. Like We kept going, look, we'll do whatever you want to do. But we finally said, we're here to entertain these young guys, right? And he was like, yes. We're, and we're like we're trying to give them a taste of home, right? So isn't this what they need? They can't look at porn on your, you know, websites or anything like that. Is that what you call a taste of home? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to go to your house. <laughs> Actually, I do. I want to go to your house. I'm going to give you some home cooking. Yeah, yeah. A taste of home. What's that? Just come on a plate. Yeah, that's all it is. Suck it. I was, okay, so carry on. Mm. But that's it, though. We finally, we finally talked to the guy. We finally... You know, we we made it. We all put it in their their vernacular. We're like, look, our mission is to, you know what I mean? Like, we kept we, kept, we use that. Yeah, yeah. This we, is Operation should, Entertain. Yeah, this is dirty joke. Fucking top secret. <laughs> Seal Team Six yeah, would approve I always of these love jokes. It. It's, it's like because uh, you, you do get when you got the army um, because the company that sends us out, they're very uh, that, that's their whole business. So they don't want the British government to stop paying them to send bands and strippers and things out there. So if I offend some fucker, it goes back on them. So they, they always want me not to be too offensive. And I'm like, really? These guys have killed people. Yeah, yeah what? I know. <laughs> I mean, like, like what could you possibly? That, and they always say, don't say this, don't say that. And then I go up there and I'm just doing dick jokes and they're fucking going nuts for it. There was they, one time I, I was there. There was this one guy that kept on shouting out, shouting out, shouting out. <laughs> And uh, I said, uh, oh, I wouldn't want to be in a fucking foxhole with you, you cunt. You're the first one to get shot. Yeah. Right? And then the room was tense. And I thought, I went, because you'd be making all the sound. <laughs> and I, I sort of laughed. I was like, oh, I got away with it. Oh. I love, I love, that's the thing about the Bin Laden thing that they keep saying. Like, it was so against Sharia law that they threw his body in the ocean like that. That wasn't the proper funeral. And I'm like, was it the proper assassination? 
Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Uh, yeah, did they fucking bless the bullet that they put between his eyes? Like, <laughs> like that's was, where we went was, wrong. Yeah, the way that, we threw his body. In was the that bullet <laughs> halal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, about, what about shooting his eighteen-year-old wife in the leg and then taking him out in the head? Yeah, that, uh, that was I, fun. Did he shoot his wife in the yeah, leg? Yeah, they oh, shot his. Uh, you and know, she's eighteen. Yeah, she was. No, no, Fantastic. she was eighteen when when he married. There's nothing her. like a wounded rape. <laughs> Everyone got quiet, but I laughed, which made me really uncomfortable. Yeah, there's nothing like a wounded rape when she's got a bullet wound in her leg and you've got a burka to you wipe up your cum. You just... <laughs> We're going to die. We're going to die. Somebody's... Jason's terrified. As, as, you, as your finger a Bin Laden wound. Like, literally, as you're saying that, I'm sitting near the window and I'm expecting to hear just that, that silent bullet that, like, through the thing and it oh, hits yeah. one of our heads and it... No, that's... That off one of their guns? That's our gun you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Their, their gun's the one with a laser pointed duct tape to the end and a did fucking... Did you read... They, they took a dog with them. They One of the Navy SEALs strapped a dog to them that... This dog, it's some kind of German shepherd. Mm. Belgian shepherd, probably. Bel oh, thanks, Jason. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. this is Roy. No, 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 this is no, what no. Roy did. No, no, no. They're, they're, this they're is the Roy. dogs that make better chocolates. You're right, oh, yeah, yeah, You're yeah. right. All right no, this the is Roy's job. The Belgians are known for two things, pedophilia it, it and wasn't, chocolate. It wasn't a Belgian shepherd. why do you think shepherd. they invented the I chocolate? I guarantee Oh, they invented right. slavery, Belgian too, Belgian shepherds though. are the top ones used by special forces in U.S. military. Right okay, now. but I guarantee it was not a Belgian shepherd. It wasn't a Belgian shepherd. It was a big black dog. Belgian shepherds are large and black. Here's the best part. They removed the dog's fangs and it has uh, titanium fangs so it can bite through Kevlar. It's oh, like when, when we're in Afghanistan, they, 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 Holy push, shit. they put you in the suit and you run, you run, you run, you run, you run, and then the dog chases you down. These dogs aren't fucking around. No way. They want to rip your face off. One punctured through the thing just through it and just made me bleed a little tiny bit Jesus. through this outfit that's meant to protect you. I, I, I'll tell you one of my Afghanistan I would stories. Too. When I When I was out in Afghanistan, they let us play with plastic explosives and guns and fucking drive around the back of vans with like guns <laughs> like that, right? And we videotaped the whole thing. So I get back at the airport. And they do that swab of your laptop. Yeah, they yeah. did a swab of my camera covered with ex uh, plastic <laughs> explosives. <laughs> Fucking cut. You could see them on it, right? And then they bring me in a room. Why has this got plastic explosives on it? And I was like, because I've been playing with plastic explosives. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, where have you come from? I've come from Afghanistan. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. And I landed in America. It was the British government that sent me. So the American government had no fucking record of me hanging out in Afghanistan, yeah. right? And so I sat there for hours while they were trying to find the British government to give me the authority to have been playing with plastic explosives. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there with the woman and I said to her, this is like, you know, like a flip camera, not like a flip camera, one of those normal ones where the side flips out and you can watch it on the little mm -hmm. screen. And I said to her, I said, I said, hey, watch the video. You'll see me with soldiers playing with the thing. And she actually pulled the flip back and she pressed the play buttons like she was detonating a bomb like she just sort of squinted <laughs> not the greatest I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just informative it I doesn't got, have to be I, hilarious I got, I got booked in uh, Iraq one time and I wanted to go I was excited to go and then I couldn't go because something else and because uh, uh, I, I had a case of pussiness <laughs> and uh so I didn't go, and I was supposed to go, and Jim Florentine... Did, did you not go because you were a pussy dad? No, no, no. Some, I forget I had to do something, but Jim Florentine went in my place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I go, mm -hmm. this was right back in the beginning when they first started sending comedians. And I go, how was it? And Jim goes, it was fucking amazing. He goes, we had a layover in Amsterdam. We all ate hash cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he goes, and then... We land in, a, in Iraq, and the first thing they do, they go, you want to shoot machine guns? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're all fucking... And then, come on, you want to go out in the dune buggies? And I was like, oh, that would have been fun. Oh, oh, it's, speaking, it's, it's speak, amazing Speaking fun. of which, it, do is, it, again, it is Jason Hour's birthday. We got to celebrate his birthday. Um, Jason, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy yesterday, birthday, buddy. Yesterday, we're going to do... I, okay, okay, I know you've already heard the age, but if you were to look at him, what, what age would you think Jason is? Homeless. <laughs> And, and what? A, what? A, name well, the majority the, of uh, name the amount of achievements do you think this man's had in thirty nine years? I think uh, that shirt <laughs> and the maybe, fact that a cat got that close to him. The fact that a cat got that close to him, and I think uh, this delicious uh, beer that he's got in his uh, hand. No, no, no. How many he, of those once, delicious beers he, have you had today? Two point. Four. He okay. once kissed Lily. I kissed Lily. That's he his kissed, biggest achievement. He made out with Lily. And I wow. worked with two top comics. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's awesome. Way to fire back a fucking hardball. I like it. <laughs> well, we uh, for your birthday, Lilith uh, baked you something for your birthday, Lilith. Yeah. Can you? Oh wow. Yeah. 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 So she's gonna go get that. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. hairy cookie. It's a bowl of regret. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. Oh, regret the day before. It's your dignity in a tray. <laughs> just all the bits of skin so how that's did, flaked how, off How it. did the, you it's make out with duke. her? How did that happen? Yeah. She's got to bring that de- duke's it was, head it was on a, a bit, stick. Uh, we talked about it on the last time. I saw like her in a booth. In a restaurant, <laughs> yeah, he did. A Mexican restaurant. He, did. he didn't get his. He didn't get his tongue down it. Like, it worked though. Like, at, least, you know. at least what you call. Charitable. Lalit has a tiny. <laughs> Lalit has a tiny bit of an overbite that he was able to sneak his tongue up <laughs> and over her bottom row of teeth. I almost lost tongue. it though. Did you <laughs> taste any of the mace that you sprayed her with to make this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday to you. Fat cock. Dropped your fucking I dropped cake. your fucking cake. Why did she, she wiggle? She baked you a cake and you fucking dropped it. It's a rice crispy. It's oh, rice crispy treat. Is it a sculpture? No, it, it, it's just rice crispy treats yeah, on it's top a, of each other. It's a sculpture. It's rice crispy treats. There's how many there? Are you shooting it? There's yeah. ten, and we want to see how quickly you can eat all of them. Can I go pee first? No, because they're not made of liquid. Fuck knuckle, and eat your rice crispy treats, or you'll never have a birthday again. I have to eat all of these. All, of all ten. Of them. I can't eat all these. Yeah. Just, okay, I'm going to time you two minutes. How many can you eat? <laughs> this one keeps many, falling. I know how many? Like, oh my god. Wait, wait, okay. Wait, wait. Should we tell? Oh, no, 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 go, 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 go. I can taste it. <laughs> I can smell it. Uh, I can taste it. They're, they're, like, they're laced with these? marijuana. I've spent so much time with Doug Benson, I can fucking smell that shit. I'm like a goddamn FDI dog. <laughs> Jason just took a mouthful. I took a bite of that right there. Right there, I took a bite. So How much do you think you could eat of that? It's it's a mound about, uh, what would you say is there? How you much? can taste like it. Like one I thought, cubic foot. I thought, that was, I thought that was the only taste you ever had in your mouth. I thought you going to go it tastes of nothing <laughs> no I can it tastes of normal you knew right away. nobody would know that there's pot in there he knew right away because I can taste it give, wow. me, a, give me a bite of this because I've never right there. had a take has, that one's fresh right I will there. not be biting the section that you've bit from Bite. take a break <laughs> no, of no you can smell that That's, yeah, you yeah. can smell that you made away. this Lily I made it with the help she of she made my it friend. for you can, wow. we just, can I just I don't say, condone drug use by the way I very rarely stand up during the podcast but Lily used to work in the rehab. sex trade. <laughs> in rehab for people with drug addictions. But when, you know, she's not working, <laughs> loves to bake a yeah. uh, marijuana <laughs> rice crispy. This is how I get my clients. For a man who obviously has a drug problem. When I called Lalit today to talk about You're the like show. a tow truck driver that puts oil on the machete's wall. Machete's right in there. Machete's right in there. Right oh, in there. there right away. Oh, here goes the show. Go. The show's fucked. Our producer. Where's our producer? This is a two-parter. This isn't going to work out for any. No. I'm not eating. Yeah, this is a two-part oh, show. Oh, he can handle so, it. Uh, Look at it. Come on. Uh, there's more. Where that yeah, the second show will just be fucked up. Um, we've got, uh, <laughs> it takes like 40 minutes for this to kick in. We'll be fine. You know what I like about it? When I look at Ernie eating them, it's like I'd eat them whether they were potted in them or not. <laughs> How are they tasting? I, I, I called, I Graham. called Lily today. Taste, it's I, good. Good work. Good. Hey guys, You're I, I called Lily today to say, uh, Hey, have you baked the cake for Jason yet? And she said, uh, I'm, I'm working on it, but I have to do a therapy session on Skype. <laughs> when she says therapy what? session, it's just what yeah. I do She's is... a professional therapist. You're a therapist? And she's you know that annoying that. pop-up window on, on uh, UJIS that comes up in the right corner where you have to watch the solo yeah, yeah. thing? That's what Lily does. Did he just try to make a joke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What I, what I do is I get Lalit to to get on Twitter with me on Skype with me and put a dildo up her ass whilst writing the word slut and lipstick across her chest <laughs> while I masturbate, and she can't touch a pussy because I don't want to enjoy herself. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I enjoy myself anyway. Oh my God! <laughs> Jason, Jason just I make a pump on the screen. Little Graham just goes, "Oh my God!" Jesus. I only made didn't it. Didn't even phase me, Graham. <laughs> I'm used to it. Um, Jason, did you just, can you how me? many have you eaten now? This, this is my first one. How many of those can you eat? A few. How many? Right. Well, I mean, it depends on how strong the butter is. Are we going to be taking them to the hospital? <laughs> no, you no, can't OD on can't weed. Wait, no, no, you, you can't, can't OD, OD on, on weed. weed. You can't OD on it. I want to see I'll you tell you what you can OD on. <laughs> butter. <laughs> 
Plenty of people have died on butter. butter <laughs> yeah, I can get really bad diarrhea from it. So, Lalita, well, how did you how did you get involved in this program as a th- how did you go from therapist to pot cookie maker <laughs> to a drug dealer? Uh, I met Jason. I li- I've been living in Venice for a while, and I was planning on quitting rehab anyway. I don't work in rehab anymore. I worked there for three years, uh-huh. and uh, Jason and I became friends and kind of sucked me into the vortex. Okay, of late, rape cottage. late, you did it. <laughs> now, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. <laughs> Now, we've got this new game that we've been playing around the house called Loaded Questions, and that we actually brought on, and we're going to actually physically play the game, which is the first time we've played a game since the strict poker. We played strict poker. Oh, we cheat in everything ne- we do. You've Ch- never seen a stricter game. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most rule-heavy game of yeah. the It was like this. There were five men playing strip poker with Lilith. We cheated, and who do you think got naked? You. Jason. No. <laughs> we felt, we felt sorry naked. for Lilith at the end, but the thing was, Jason was stoked. He knew we were cheating, but he forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't stoned. I wasn't stoned. Uh, Kasim brought that bottle of scotch, and you guys made me drink half of it almost. Yeah, we made you. Like, we made you eat four brownies, uh, you fat cunt. I just watched Duke. Duke just fucking licked pot rice krispies off the oh, ground. Shit. No, uh, uh, that's, you think that's the boy, worst Duke. thing Duke's eaten today? Now, we're going to play a doing? game. And Is we- this because of what happened yesterday? You guys are Revenge. What again? happened? Explain what happened yesterday. Tell Jim what happened, what I walked into. <laughs> well, I went to this, because yesterday was my actual birthday. Right. I went to the store uh-huh. where they provide care for me. And, um... Because he's, oh, got, he's got collective he's got, he's, yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, back So I got my card and everything. Back so I, I, yeah, like, my eyelashes are weird. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just going, I have a deformed frontal lobe. Yeah, no, no, he, he's the only person who's ever walked in that doesn't have to give an excuse. <laughs> yeah, they just went, oh, Jesus. They just looked at him and they could see the problem. <laughs> oh, here comes Billy Joel yeah. cat hair. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah. there's too up. much space between his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give a card to mump face. <laughs> Give a card to Mump Face. <laughs> Wasn't that the name of your uh, your band in the seventies? Give a Mump card. Face yeah. is a good name for a band. Yeah, Mump Face. So I went to the store yesterday. <laughs> no, all right. And I bought. He looks like he's got a bad appetite. Let's give him some pie. A chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> problem with these is they're going to make you more hungry, and you're going to have to keep eating them. It's a vicious cycle. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to die. We've bin- lost Ernie. Keep binging like your. Mother- <laughs> I bought a. I keep bought binging one those, like your midget. I bought like a mango you. juice infused uh, sparkling beverage. What you know? The, yeah. Like, and, yeah, like everybody okay, knows. Of course. Right and a, and, a, and a chocolate. Basically, is, I went and loaded up all this, and and I ate it. And Eddie walked in with our our pinball repair guy was here. No, at the same I time. left. You left while we were eating it and sh- sharing it. I left while they were eating it, and I said, and Jesse said, oh, "I'm gonna leave." Yeah, we'll all be gone. Yeah, he goes, "I'll be gone. We'll all be gone." Mm-hmm. And I said, "I have a feeling you won't." <laughs> and I showed up two hours later, and he was fucking the pinball repair guy. <laughs> Yeah, and all you can hear is ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. Just fucking, I'm like, yeah, I'll give you a free ball, you motherfucker. He, he went in, he went he into, got multi-ball. you know the silent laugh? Multiple balls. He went, in, he, went, he, he went into the silent laugh for like 10 minutes here on the couch where tears were cut. He couldn't stop. None of us could, though. The whole room was just laughing hysterically. And you got the pinball guy in there like, playing pinball. And he walks in the room. I don't even get what's funny about it, though. Because he did like there. he was in shock. He didn't have a, he didn't even know what to fucking say. The whole he's like the first thing out of his mouth is I feel like I just walked into a crack den. Yeah, it looked like it. They were all huddled up on the couch together. <laughs> the fucking in, all right. our, in our house. We're gonna play this question game. There's so many good questions in this. I'm gonna do this one. It's called first. loaded questions. Loaded <laughs> questions. Loaded questions. All right, ready? Who would you cast? For the before and after picture of a weight loss program. Jason. <laughs> I have to answer that question? No, no, no. Jason's my first choice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me give one. And uh, If you had to spend the rest of your life in one place, where would it be? Venice Beach? <laughs> why do you answer, Jason. Why do you answer like... <laughs> Graham, go ahead, pick one up. All right, pick one off this thing. All right. Um, uh, what is your greatest environmental concern? Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Here's mine. You are how will toxic. the world end? <laughs> yeah, let's hear yeah. All right, how will the, actually, how is, hear how is the world going to end? Jason. <laughs> exactly. No, come on, no, tell us, tell us. <laughs> how is the world going to end? Yeah. It won't. 
Why not? Because energy only changes okay, form. No, no, never... no, no. Okay, I'm not talking about an ice age and the dinosaurs. Re- how will the world end for humans? Collapse. Society yeah, collapses. How will society yeah. collapse as we know it? Don't give us your, no, it will still exist. Eat a there pot, won't be eat, anyone eat, living, eat but it'll be a Krispy rock. Well, well, yeah, um, let me um, explain it. Eat, um, yeah, eat that one, that science giant one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I reckon <laughs> your world will end in about four hours. <laughs> I think the... a fucking heart attack. I think, honestly, uh, You're what's going to happen... You're John Lennon, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Once the, it's the bees. Not if I got anything to do about it. <laughs> it's the bees. I just is that my catcher? Whoa, is that whoa, my catcher whoa, in the ride? Whoa, I just whoa, spit whoa, up all over myself. The bees. The bees. Explain. <laughs> the bees are dying, and that's there's a, good a virus that's killing off all the like a lot of bees and the fish, the fish and, and the fish. But basically, when pollination stops, we're done. Explain so, why. Why? Right. why? No, he's he's right. Yeah, but because there's a weird. <laughs> he is right to a point, Graham. But then he's yeah. gonna have to. He's no. gonna have to embellish because he's not right. No, he's after. not. He's not right. His scientific level goes so Basically, only surface deep. I haven't eaten honey for like six months, and I've been cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> but the majority of life on the planet comes from the pollination of bees. How? Explain. Because they're a crucial component of the circle of life. Ecosystem. How? Because. They allow plants to reproduce. How? By collecting pollen to make their own food. They actually cross, they bring... Cross-pollinate. Yeah, but we now have scientists and stuff Lily, that can do well, this in an there would have to be there, there would have to be a <laughs> nano... There, there, there would be a, have to be a nano... We, we, can, we can fucking use DNA to recreate a fucking sheep and they reckon they're going to make a woolly mammoth fucking up and going and you're saying that we can't plant our own fucking trees without Ugh. fucking bees no, involved. because when, when, once the... Once Watch the, Biodome, fuckface. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a solution to the problem. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, douchebag. Pauly Shore movie, yeah. rest. How many, yeah. how many people can... Get the Polly Shore box set and then yeah. come talk Pauly to us. Polly Shore, face. Kylie Minogue in one of her rare so movie it's e- appearances. So it's either going to be it's either going to be the bees going extinct. Have you not seen Little Nicky, sir? Or <laughs> the fish going extinct? And that'll Stephen be- Baldwin. <laughs> one of the third tier Baldwin brothers. Janine, I begs to differ, Janine sir. Janine Garofalo. No. <laughs> Did you watch really Freddy Got Fingered and then come back with your fucking bee bullshit? Put your earphones on. I got a great question. All right, we'll Tasha. pause. Wait, where, where is he going? Where is he going? He, he didn't fucking plan for it. He had too many beers before God. the show. We told him before we got in the car did, that he needed to go to the uh, toilet. Let, let, and he said, no, no, I'm fine. And now we're parked on the side of the fucking highway while he's taking a piss. I put a case of beer in the refrigerator yesterday and I said, no, Jason, these aren't for you. So he would go to everyone else in the room and open a beer. He wouldn't, he would open a beer first and then walk to them and go, do you need a beer? They'd go, yeah, and he'd hand it to them. He'd open another beer. Do you need a beer? Yeah. Then he'd go to somebody, do you need a beer? No, I don't need one. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, it's open. Uh, whoops. <laughs> and then he would drink it. And then he would take them another open beer. He would find the person that says no and go, do you need a beer? And I go, Jason. He I has you. something called an addiction problem. <laughs> yeah, he does. And also something Uh-oh. called, someone called an enabler. An enabler, that's me. Who would that be? Yeah, if I can. Well, Lalit. that's the best way to get him to treatment is by giving them drugs. You're yeah. not going to get someone. Lalit, you're going to. This be, is a great you're, therapy. <laughs> you're going to go to prison and burn in hell. Oh. No, if we would just hand out more uh, heroin-filled needles, then we could really <laughs> right. help people. I've got a question that I want, I want all of us to answer. Minutes. I want all of us to answer this question Do individually Jason. before Jason gets here, and then we'll get his take on it when he gets back. What is the worst physical handicap? Oh. Oh, Albinoism. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Albinoism. That was for you, Pudgy Luke. toes. I'd I'd say pudgy toes. Yes, that's a horrifying I, life you've got. Like, it has to be a handicap. It can't be like cerebral palsy or something where it's a complete fucking body thing. If you can have one bit of your body handicapped, what's the worst bit? Jason I, said his brain. Speaking I, as a man from experience, I would say either like blindness or uh, paralysis. Yeah, yeah, blindness. I'd go blindness, blindness or paralysis. But ignorance think- is bliss. Yeah, great. If your thanks. brain is handicapped, then you don't know the difference. Yeah, good call, so doctor. So basically, you're saying you're a very happy person. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, okay. in between tears. I have two questions on here that were like written this is my for Clint Jason. Would be bad. It was like the guy who wrote Loaded Questions said, Hey, I know Jason Hour is going to be in a room when this is read. Jason, if you found a $50 bill on the street and had to spend it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you buy? Marijuana. Okay, well, well let's rephrase no, this. Jay, Jay, let's well, rephrase well. this. You're already stoned. You have marijuana back at the house. Actually, um, forty dollars blew up on me yesterday. What, what do you mean? 
like the wind blew forty dollars up to me. Yeah, I swear to God, there's there's more to this story. There's nobody around. So wait, two wait. individual notes. Wait, yeah, not a forty dollar note. Can no, 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 two twenties. <laughs> can, can we? I don't believe you. And I bought. Was I don't it, fucking believe was it you. A 50, wait a minute. Was it a fifty? And a hold guy on, ran up and asked for change. You, hold you, on, hold you on, blew a up. guy for forty dollars. No, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You're lying. I am sick of your lies. I'm not lying. You're lying. I'm not lying. You're lying. Right. I'm not lying. You had how much money did you have on you yesterday when I asked you? I don't know. $40. You had thirty dollars, so? right? He spent ten. How much, wait, wait, hold on. Well, no, I'm getting to someone. Doesn't mean What time did you find it? Listen. What? Just answer my question. That thirty dollars had nothing to do with the forty dollars that I found the Wait. day before. Where? Because the day money. before the money that I found Shut up. in the street, Don't. I have blue. Shut the fuck up. Don't. Where is the money right now? It, I consumed it yesterday. How? By and eating that candy bar, bar and drinking that soda. Forty dollars. Forty dollars with the soda and candy. The, yeah, the soda a- bottle was sixteen dollars. What the <laughs> fucking soda? What the fuck off? It was a tea. I was protecting you from Eddie just then, and you fucked me over now by lying. No, I'm no, telling. I'm telling the truth. It's I'm telling the truth. Sixteen bottle, sixteen dollar bottle 16 of mango soda infused with THC. How much is left of the money? It's from the store. It's How much from- is left? I spent all of it. I bought some mouths last night, fucking candy bar and a soda and a pack of joints. He bought me food yesterday. Damn it. All right. I, I, do you know what I was trying to do? What? I was or trying to get money. him to show it to us and then I was going to rip it off. I knew it. I knew it. That's I mean. I fucking knew it. That's horrible. <laughs> How much money do you have on you? I'm not, no, I'm not sure. How much do you have on you? None. What, T- what, tell if, us what if we held you down? Would we find something? <laughs> I challenge you to hold me down. Really? <laughs> Outstanding. He wants me manhandled by Jim. Standing. No. Stay away from me. Let's see how bad no. your back is. Fuck Jim's face. taking his Actually, my back's off. feeling better. I don't want to wrestle. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Then let's see your money. Let's Jim's go. A challenge is a challenge. Yeah. Bad back. All right. Then you Even say, with a bad back. Then you say loudly that I would beat you. Eat up. Say Eat up. openly that I would beat you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Jason just attacked Jim. And is about to take Jim oh, down. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Jason is climbing. Suck his dick. my laptop. Suck his dick. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. So J- Jason just kissed him. Fuck him in the mouth. Why this is the most kissing? uncomfortable thing I've thing ever right. seen in and my life. And your fat belly's watch hanging the, out. Jason's fat belly's hanging out. He's oh, got a boner. Jason is rubbing his fat Jason has a boner. Belly. so many times. Yeah, that's probably what flared my back. I'm not fighting back because I know you have a bad back. Let's see your money. Get your money out now. No. Jason is grinding on Jim right now. I got a leg. I got a leg. I got a hook. I got. I'm protecting you with my face. (laughs) This is getting really homoerotic. I've got a boner. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And right when it happened. All right. All right. Stop. This is uncomfortable. Stop. Jesus. Jesus. My point is, I got really. I feel, like, I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm at a rehab center, and this is like group therapy. <laughs> yeah. right, Jason, wrong. you can't have a bad back it's then. Actually, week. I do have, every, have a bad back. You can't have set a bad him up. Back. No, I didn't do anything. You can't have a bad back. I've been fighting this argument forever that you don't have a bad back. I do have a bad back. For pity, you just went and threw a 210 pound man onto a couch and sat on him. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad back behavior. I didn't lift you up <laughs> all day. You that's told us not. about your bad back. I moved the TV a five thousand pounds. You wouldn't help. You would not. One TV you would out of not this help house, lift and TV. you wouldn't help us lift it because you're bad back. You don't understand. I've had the disc. My Actually, disc was my fluid. In my disc was right drained here because I have a sciatic right now. nerve. You Boom. don't have a bad yes, back. Yes, I do. Then why did you want to wrestle with me? I didn't want to wrestle with you because I thought you had a bad back. I felt sorry for you. As long as I don't compromise. That's a copper feel, Jim. My posture. With, which I didn't do. Sitting with on a man and throwing him on the couch compromises your posture. No. This is like, I feel like I'm at a dive bar. Like, <laughs> you know, and there's those guys that sit at the end of the bar. You go there with your buddies to get cheap. Oh, it's a cheap pitchers of beer. And at the end of the bar, there's these guys that get there at 6 a.m. every day and they're the only ones who eat those weird pickled eggs things. <laughs> right? Mm, and then you'll jam. be sitting there talking with your buddy and all of a sudden at the end of the bar, you'll just suddenly hear, Jerry, you son of a bitch, or something like that. And it's, uh, you know, uh, the, yeah, uh, the, the male back is uh, yeah. something that can't be broken. Yeah, they have a fight like that. And I'm then if, you, if you listen closely to the argument, it's Where's always insane. Beer? It's always it like over. insane. Oh. It was empty. Jason, I, All just, right. I have a second question to that. Let's the get into the wrestling position where well, I start on your back like the thing. Yeah. I oh, do not ground? use a shoe on the, horn. Ground, on the ground so you can see, you yeah, can yeah, see yeah, me flip it. Yeah, let's see your back Let's do that one. You're not going to go into my pockets. I'm not going to get your pocket. Why? How much money do you have in your pocket? 
Listen, man. Come on, get on the floor. Get on the floor. Come on. I all think right. he's got like 10 grand strapped to him, and that's Jimmy's why he's challenging all... Jason to wrestle right now. They're taking the headphones off. They're taking the mics down. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me explain what is happening. Jason, they're right. getting in the Why's Roman Greco, nice the Roman gay co. Oh, Jason. Ah! Jim looks like he's fucking Jason. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now, now, now before we start, take it. This is a little arousing. And what? No, because my back is straight right now, and this actually doesn't hurt. If I do that, is that compromised? Okay. It feels good. Wait a minute. This is really creepy. Right, right Jim has Jason in doggy Anything style you do to position. Right there. Push there again. And he good. is massaging his back. Why did this turn into this? Now, if I if that's a man without a bad back. If he j- if Jim if Jim comes on your back, does that make it feel bad? Are you ready to jizz? This isn't a man no. with a bad back. That's really what he needs. No. <laughs> that, but that's a man with a bad back. If, How if, can if, you claim to have a bad fucking that back? Doesn't hurt. Jim is sitting on your back while yeah, you're no, in while you're in Duke position. But this doesn't like what it is is like. It's, you're lying. I, I just you're lying. I, I hurt my back a week ago. There's no way I could have that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to do work for no, us no, anymore. It's, it's coming up through this. <laughs> you don't. I proved it just then. Oh, you like, don't like, have a bad you back. You are a pathetic liar, and we're going to make you fucking do That's from when he was in his early 20s, yeah. that scar. You Once can't... You rupture a disc, you're fucked for life. Yeah, you're fucked for you life. You did the no, worm in You here. were fucked for life when you came out of your mom's womb screeching the I know, sides. I know. You don't have a bad back. I have a I bad back. Okay. But you did didn't, okay. didn't hurt me. Lalit, would you say that he still has a bad back after seeing it? I'm not going to comment. But you uh, have a medical <laughs> background. Come on. Yeah, you're, not, a, you're a physician. I'm not a PhD. In your opinion, do you think that, that's and the activity? Just, I think, just I think Jason, another Rice Krispie Jason, treat Jason, and shoved it Jason will take anything on his shit. back for he's you, full of Jim. He's shit. That's all I know. Oh, well, well, I promise you. He, he so, Eddie, you don't think he has a bad back? No, I don't trust him anymore at all. He acts like a martyr all the time. He acts like he can't walk. He acts like he can't walk. I swear to God, I'm not faking my back back. He acts like he can't walk, and then he throws me on the couch and lets me sit on his back while he's in all fours. But do you notice when I pushed you, I was keeping my hips over my, like, I was not then remember that when you lift the television. Graham, am I the only one that thought I was watching a little bit of games? That was homo. Right that was so homo. It was like when you're like the homeless guys in Venice Beach when they fight and argue and then they start making out and then it's like I don't know what it looked like, but when he was pushing right here, it felt good. Right here. What do you mean? How you you don't yeah. have a bad back. I think, right. I think I was can everyone please write to Jason and yeah. tell him that I over and over again? And to change the subject, um, there was one more question on here that was written for Jason. When you get butt fucked, does that hurt your back? <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually feels good. Oh, see, no, yeah, exactly. No, no, that actually feels really good. Cuff, if you, if you pull my hair, then that would hurt. Because you can see how I keep my back in alignment as your cock rams up my ass. That's actually good posture for back pain. Your balls slapping on uh, my balls the, actually the, feels the, better. The cum fills the fluid that already leaked Yeah, it does. Out it actually releases spine. the pressure when, you're, when you ejaculate in my he's, colon. I, he's looking at me with anger right now. My back hurts. Sometimes. What? Are you, what, are, what are, <laughs> why don't you dive at me with your? With, well, I'll dive with perfect posture. Jason, when you retire, how will you spend all the money you've invested? <laughs> <laughs> he did. I told you. He just bought a can of pop for like sixteen dollars. <laughs> That's a long-term investment. Yeah, is what yeah. that, that'll appreciate. <laughs> I've never seen a person shovel down a pot like piece of food <laughs> and then wash it down with a beer, <laughs> trying to get so many chemicals in their body. <laughs> he's, he's angry with me. You're now. a fucking junkie. Um, no, self-medicating. No, I mean, my back does hurt. So, but like what but I did. Why, just now, but when you threw me, that is a back motion. Yeah, and I'm feeling it a little bit. But look. I really do. I, f- I fuck up and overdo it, especially when I've been drinking. I, the first but I do time, have a bad back. The first time I, I, I didn't really. The first time I didn't really fight back because I was thinking he says he's got a slip disc and like I knew you'd beat me because you got mong strength, right? But I I I, I, I just. <laughs> but I I was just like I can't really hurt this man. He's a friend of mine, and now you're a friend. You're still a friend of mine, but you're also a liar. Well, I'm not a liar. I have not lied. I swear. But you don't, don't have a bad back, Jason. You don't. It hurts you, right fucking now. Jason, you it always, hurts all the time. I'm Jason, like, you I'm in chronic all, pain. Like I swear to God, chronic pain. Yeah. yeah, I told but, you we'd spend we'd spend send you to the doctor and pay for it. Really? And, yeah. Let's do it. All right. I'm not paying for fantasy. If you want to spend your money on magic beans, Eddie, be my guest. I have just tried this man's back no. out. He could take no, fucking no, no. ten no, men no, no. raping they're, him. They're, oh, my, my muscles are around this. Hold nerve. on, hold on. If it's, the doctor says, not a, if the doctor says that there's nothing wrong with him, and we get to go to the doctor's appointment with him, if the doctor says he's fine, he has to do the glory hole challenge. Ooh. Here's what the deal is: 
<laughs> Jason, <laughs> yeah, you hear what that. I just said? <laughs> I heard I'll you. Did that. you just hear what you I said? MRI. I need an MRI. We will take care of the MRI, yeah. but if the doctor says you're okay, you're doing the glory hole challenge. I didn't agree to that. Why not? I don't want to do the glory hole challenge. Yeah, God, if your back, it'll, it'll hurt his back. If there's, if there's <laughs> nothing wrong for it, if there's nothing, if there's something wrong with you, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, okay, then fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Am I right? Like, here's here's what the deal. Well, is. No, 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 the the thing is, is, doctor, to say that you're okay to do the glory you're hole not, challenge. You're not. You're not doing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're no, not no, doing no. the glory hole challenge. You're one of the people in the box. <laughs> <laughs> My core structure is strong around my spine. Oh, yeah, right, we right, can right, tell. Right, right. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. just your physique yeah, shows yeah. it. Yeah, that elephant here hanging over your belt looks like good core structure to me. <laughs> that elephant here. You're, you're, you're just the fucking after picture of a Soloflex commercial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a personal trainer. I used to suffer. <laughs> Man, you know what's really doing it? That Billy Joel top is so tight, it's keeping your back in. Yeah, it is. Like a brace. It is. It's like a brace. <laughs> All right. So he's angry. His chemicals are up. Happy birthday. Did we? Thank oh, you. I got his chemicals up so bad last night in the car. Oh. Well, you had to upset him somehow. His back doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Here's a weird question. Here's a weird question on loaded question. I, I don't where, believe you. Where is the farthest place in the world? That doesn't um, make any sense. Pain from Jason's back. <laughs> <laughs> That hurts. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that was a zinger. It really hurts. You know, that was nice. Long ball. I like it. <laughs> Here's a question for Lilith. What is the nicest feature of the person on your left? <laughs> it's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it only took her 10 shows. <laughs> 10 shows and she got a laugh. Dang. <laughs> Lake, nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was outstanding. That was good because that's not an actual. This is part a great song for Jason. <laughs> what one song would you choose to come out to before a world class championship glory hole challenge? <laughs> None. I'm no, not doing no, it. No. If you were coming out, it says before a world class championship boxing match, you're coming out to fight. What would your song be? Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> I've got a really good back. Dun -dun 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 -dun. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> He's that hurts my feelings. Awesome. Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt your back. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Fucking fireballs, baby! Lock and load, bitches. It's on. Here's a good question for Jason. What conversation topic do you try to avoid? <laughs> your back. Your back. <laughs> Marriage. Your age. Your achievements. Your odor. $16 sodas. $16 sodas. <laughs> the the ones that he tries to get towards uh, wrestling ability. <laughs> he's good at wrestling. He's got a good core. He's got a good oh, core. He's got a good core. Really? Elephant ear core. <laughs> like uh, a P90X. <laughs> What's the most important, amazing thing ever done by one of your ancestors? Well, it's funny <laughs> that you mentioned that. <laughs> All right, dear uh, Clippy. All right, Normie. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, my yeah, grandfather yeah. has a stick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, actually, uh, my grandfather invented the back. My mother's <laughs> invented. That's, that's why I, I had one of the first ones. That's why it's faulty. <laughs> oh Jesus! You don't want to. Come know. on, we do want to. No, what, what? We want to hear about your ancestors. My uncle Mac. Yeah. Which is only two generations. Great uncle. He was my grandmother's mm, brother. Right, right. Uh -huh. From the movie Mac and Me. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> he was a, he, he was made a, mac and cheese. He was a yeah. fighter pilot <laughs> and he won the Naval Cross or something like that <laughs> in uh, World War II. Really? Yeah. Really? In, one did, the, did, in one of those no, fields no, wait, with the remote control. What, what happened was planes? he actually smashed his plane and made the Navy cross. <laughs> 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 Killed lots of civilians. <laughs> His back was fine, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away with no sciatic yeah, no, problems. Here's, here's a question for Jim. How long would a regular size roll of toilet paper last you? <laughs> oh, no, because I... Actually, a long time, because when it gets really bloody, I don't even opt for the toilet paper. I'm straight to the shower. <laughs> oh, Hillbilly that's... bidet. Uh, Did your family invent that, too? <laughs> <laughs> what do you consider the ultimate vacation? Eddie's house. Yeah, Eddie's couch. <laughs> yeah, what would that be? 
The ultimate vacation? Ultimate vacation. If we were to pay for your vacation, if we all pitched in or we got people. You get a week anywhere in the world. A week doing whatever you want. Doing whatever you want. We're going to take care of it. All expense paid. And you can't be like constructing robots in Japan or something. Nothing stupid like that. An actual answer. Well, wait, that's that's a good answer. (laughs) (laughs) Don't give them ideas. I don't want to go to Japan now. I'd like to go to Thailand. And, and Why? But if you go to Japan, like, those little women can walk on your back. They do in Thailand, too. Oh, They'll right. give them blowjobs in Thailand. Yeah, you could yeah. get laid in Thailand. Yeah. Like you, could, you could stand For up, that $10, yeah. rest your elephant ear on one of their foreheads. <laughs> and fucking off you go. And as, you, as you're coming, you could yell out, I do have a bad <laughs> what, what would your vacation entail? We want to hear what your holiday would be. I really don't. You know, I don't know. You never thought about it. No, you know, like I'd like a week away where I sit in a fucking hammock what is, between two. Palm what, like gym, and... like lunch. You know, what I mean, like my life. I've never thought about vacation. Like what, where I'd go. Like I never put thought into that. No. Wow. So lunch. That's well, the, I mean, uh... it's you know, it's just like <laughs> you, you look like you vacated more than most. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going... <laughs> this is a great one for Jason. What would you like to accomplish this year? <laughs> lunch <laughs> as many free lunches as I can uh, acquire well you've already accomplished that how about how about a pain free back Nobody I know knows. you accomplished that last year no <laughs> what would what, what would at the end of your life what would you like to be your biggest accomplishment Ooh. to impact as many lives in a positive way as I can before I leave the planet okay you're already in the negative column. <laughs> <laughs> how are you, you going to work out of that hole <laughs> Oh, you got a lot of sorries to do before you start getting thank yous. <laughs> oh, oh, what step is that? Oh, I've got a, <laughs> Two? I've got a fucking great one for him. Jason, if your body was cremated, where would you want your ashes sprinkled? Mount oh, Monadnock. Brokeback where? Mountain. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Mount Monadnock. Where's uh, that? New Hampshire. Really? Yeah. Yeah, don't do it around here. We haven't got the landfill. <laughs> 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 I'm on we've, fire we've, with we've, the we, we've got enough I don't know pollution. what's wrong with me I could do this all night on it <laughs> okay I got one alright in your life what has been your most gratifying moment and don't say hanging out with her yeah no I mean like no but it is yeah. but go on to number two <laughs> god that's hard there must push. have been a day at school where you weren't punched <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, in, in high school, like, I, I won a wrestling match after I was knocked out. You won one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, uh. You won a wrestling match after you were knocked out. Yeah. It was in the third period. I was trying to switch out, and the dude grabbed me by my singlet and lifted me up and dropped me straight on my head, and right. I blacked out. I was, like, knocked out. And then you woke up, and you were in our house. And because, Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He, he was in a coma for and six months. And I won. Months. I won that match. Like, it's, because, I, it's because I stuck he, that guy. Yeah, because what happened you won was, while you were in a coma? Can you, no, see, I, can you see how fat he is? He got knocked out, and he fell on top of the bloke. The other guy died. Disqualified. <laughs> 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 and, and that, actually, hang on. Wait a minute. That's your most gratifying moment no, in your life. No, I mean, no. I, I don't know what the most gratifying moment in my life is. Are you feeling that pot? I, at one point, I thought it was getting married, but now we know how that ended up. Yeah. I don't know. what like Life you is... I'm happy to be fucking here, alive, and... Uh, being alive only is your partially, most gratifying yeah, being, moment. Partially, you know what? Partially. The most gratifying moment in my life is understanding and being aware and being thankful that I do exist and that I do have choices in life and that I am here. And that your back's perfect. Good for my you. back isn't perfect. Perfect. That was no. boring. It hurts right now <laughs> and from that One shit, last question and then we're going to have to go. But, um, and this question's for Jim. What two words come to mind when you hear the word white? <laughs> oh. Um, power. White power. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you have a different accent. <laughs> um, uh, white power. Um, two uh, words. Is supremacy two words? Um, uh, Adolf Hitler? <laughs> 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 All right, that was uh, those were pretty. Good. I like this thing. We're gonna. Do it is sec- fun. It is we gotta fun. do this more often on the show. It's called Loaded Questions. It's I love a good it. game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to wrap up. This is gonna be a two-part episode. Um, we, we, you do all thank yous, Eddie. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone. Go to our website, which is uh, Jim and Eddie Talk Shit dot com. You guys have been great. Thank you for all the feedback on Facebook, on our Facebook page, on our Twitters. Uh, <laughs> You're almost too active. <laughs> right. Like, I open up my Twitter every morning, and there's like a thousand people just going, fucking punch Jason in the fucking face, or I love Jason, you should die. And um, What's it got to do with me? 
No, it's somehow they, they just go, we love Jim. Jim's funny. Kill, <laughs> kill Jason or you should die or something I'm, like that. I'm waiting for, this is the Twitters that I'm predicting for this week. Nothing wrong with your back, you fat cunt. <laughs> yeah, and, I hope your back dies in a sea of AIDS. <laughs> Uh, but um, thank you for, for all the feedback and everything and being active. Uh, but please just go to our website. There is a donation page. If you want T-shirts, you want posters, you want to come here and hang out with us, uh, or if you want Jason to write a song about you, right, Jason? You're going to write that song. Yep. Okay. Bad Back Blues. The Bad Back song. <laughs> and uh, sign up for our email list on the Baby website. Back Blues. I hate that. That's Jim and Eddie, talkshit.com. Uh, you can also get us on Stitcher. Sign He's up on Stitcher. He's coming towards me. Stitcher.com no, forward slash Jim and Eddie. Get Jim, the mo Jim mobile app. Promo codes Jim and Eddie. That's Jim and Eddie. Go to that. Uh, thank you, Graham Elwood, for being on the show. Next week, or uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, on the Thursday episode, we're going to have one of our favorite guests. Not one of our favorite guests. Woo! Brian McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah! The guy who likes to eat dudes' cunts. And He's write to us on Jim and Eddie at Yahoo.com. Yeah, Jim and Eddie at Yahoo.com. Uh, Graham, anything you'd like to plug? Yeah, just go to uh, GrahamElwood.com, get my tour dates, my podcast, Comedy Film Nerds, and also my new documentary about my first trip to Afghanistan called Afghanistan. It's all at GrahamElwood.com. That's GrahamElwood.com. Go to that. Thank you, Graham, for being here. Thank you guys for listening. Please support the show. You've been great. Tell your friends and go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, Jason's bad back. Oh. <laughs>